Ash Jubilee Christian Church Thika Road of me being crucified with Christ was to eradicate that old person that was incompatible with God. That man was killed on the cross. The reality of the fact in Christianity is we are born of the Spirit, but we are discipled by the Word. Welcome to Jubilee Christian Church, Thika Road. Understand that there is a capacity that is called the nature of God that is in you. We preach Christ.
This is where I want to be in your presence, oh God. As I listen for your voice, as I listen for your voice, you refresh my.
Sauti ya kutu 
Shout and say, I'm born of God. I am born of the Holy Ghost. I'm born of the Word of God. I am productive and fruitful in everything that I do. I cannot fail because greater is He that is in me than He that is in the world. The Word of God is alive and active in my life i cannot be shaken i cannot be moved because the lord is my foundation he is my rock he is my strength therefore i cannot be shaken in jesus name is that your story put your hands together give him praise Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Turn to your neighbor, give them a testimony, tell them, Nime Okoka, I'm born again. I love Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Make sure you share that testimony. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. Do you agree? What a mighty God we serve. We serve a mighty God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Now listen. In my Noah, I know something. In my Noah, I know we are in a time of imagining. 
where people start to emerge from the things that had held them back from limitations you've been dealing with situations that are threatened to overwhelm you battles in the family battles in the office situations financial situations it's time for you to emerge praise the name of jesus it's time for you to emerge hallelujah for some of you it's been a time of stagnation whatever you've been trying to do it's as if you're not moving forward you've been praying you've been fasting you've been sowing you've been giving you've declared but hear the word of the lord this evening you are emerging you are emerging from that season you are emerging from that level you've been there for a, a long time it's time for you to come forth somebody shout and say i'm coming forth shout again and say i'm coming forth hindrance is being broken in jesus name doors and opportunities that you've been waiting for they are busting open because the people of god are emerging we are coming forth praise the name of jesus let me tell you there are things that you are about to leave behind they will never be a part of your story they will not be a part of your life in the name of jesus oh let me shout it out and say some of you there are battles you have fought but this is the last time you are fighting those battles we are breaking cycles hallelujah yeah yeah give it to me strong vincent cycles are being broken praise the name of jesus always coming back to the same issue always coming back to the same problem always dealing with the same mountain again and again but a time is coming and now is that you're imagining you are not going to be fighting the same battle somebody shout and say yes, yes. that is what i know in my noah because he has whispered into my spirit he has whispered into my spirit hallelujah that there are things you are leaving behind praise the name of jesus there are things that you will not talk about anymore and you talk about them it will be as a testimony of where the lord has brought you from when you mention them it will be as a part of your biography as a part of your story my god somebody shout and say yes yeah you are coming for you are imagining there are things you are shaking off out of your life they are leaving you come here my son let me lay my hand in the name of jesus image image into your vision image into your dream i pull you out i pull you out i pull you out by the anointing image in jesus name somebody shout and say yes, yes. that's what i know in my noah praise the name of jesus friends this is not all that god has called us for there is a higher height there is a bigger place and the, some of you your spirit is filled with the vision of god filled with the dreams that god has been giving you you have not lost the vision you have not lost the passion you have not lost the conviction some of you are even wondering what is happening why am i not moving forward why is it that i'm praying come here come here why is it that i'm praying and nothing is happening i'm telling you now you you are imagining you are imagining by force by the strength of the spirit you are coming forth somebody shout and say yeah, yeah. you're coming forth you're coming forth you're coming forth you're coming forth in jesus name hallelujah that time is coming to an end is coming to an end praise the name of jesus somebody shout and say i hear you pastor if it's your word say amen, amen. hallelujah amen. the emergence people are imagining those doors are busting open in jesus come here angel in the name of jesus christ 
emerge in Jesus name emerge into your place I command a place for you I command a space for you I command room in Jesus name this Nairobi creates room this nation creates room in Jesus name I pull you up into your place in Jesus name somebody shout and say amen in the name of Jesus I wanted to teach but I want to pray come here Lucy come so get a lama zakata raba nina kuvuta wingie mali pako mali mungu wali kuonyesha na kakuambia sahi kwa neno la mungu na kwa nguvu za roo mtakatifu nina kuvuta katika jina la yesu I put you into your protective prophetic place I pull you in Jesus name into the place that God spoke about into the place that God has promised in Jesus name it's time for you to emerge it's time for you to emerge it's time for you to emerge somebody shout and say amen, amen. now listen there is a place that Jesus had gone to as his custom was. He went to the same synagogue as his custom. But there is a day he appeared in the same synagogue. But in a different way. Are you hearing me? The Bible says and he returned in the power of the Holy Ghost. He returned in the power of the Holy Spirit. When you start to rise, there is something that causes people to emerge. You don't emerge by your own strength. You don't emerge by your own ability. You emerge with the backing of God, which is greater than the force of what has been resisting you. In the name of Jesus, I release it to you. I impart it to you. Emerge in Jesus' name. What you have seen, what you have spoken about, what you have declared, it's time for you to experience in Jesus' name. Somebody shout and say amen. The same business, the same place, but you go there different. You go there, communists. You go there different. You go there different. In the name of Jesus, emerge. That season is over, I shut it. Like Elijah shut up the heavens and said it will not rain. So I shut that season and all its experiences. And I command you to arise into a new experience. Come into a new experience where you experience favor. Where you experience a fruitfulness and progress in Jesus name. Hallelujah. You know, the reason sometimes you lay hands on people, yeah, you lay hands, is because sometimes contact creates communication. Sometimes when you lay hands on a person, you can feel through contact, you can feel what that person has been going through. That is how the gifts sometimes work. Are you hearing me? Just like you can touch somebody and receive the healing that is in that person. Yeah? You have a testimony. Okay. Amen. You receive. That woman with the issue of blood said, if I can touch, I'll get what he has. So also somebody can lay hands on you and they experience or they feel and they know what you've been going through. Are you getting? So that's sometimes why you lay hands. Are you getting? So that which is in you goes into them. And you get to also to know what are these people fighting? What has hindered this person? Praise the name of Jesus. Somebody shout and say, I'm imagining. Do you want to give the testimony now? Come, come and give, it, give my sweetheart a micro. Come show off your hoodie. Come show off your orange hoodie. I am of God. It's a nice hoodie. Amen. Doesn't she look amazing? Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. This one I've just received and I thought it is too nice for us to ignore. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, now this one is, was sent to the office line. Okay. In May 2022, I went for my first prenatal clinic. As the, doc, as the doctor was doing the ultrasound, 
there was some discomfort I had been feeling for two weeks on the very lower side of the belly. So I asked him to check what it could be. We saw a swelling and it was big. Doctor told me it was an ovarian cyst. I had never heard of such before. I didn't even know, I didn't even want to ask any further questions, though he said they are usually not dangerous. We were to keep it under observation now that I was even pregnant. So we repeated the ultrasound and it had grown bigger. Somebody say bigger. From 7 centimeters to 11 centimeters. And now it required removal because they were growing concurrently with the pregnancy. And again, when it's too big, it can cause ovary to twist, which would be an emergency as it's painful and can even kill can kill ovary cause blood supply ain't there. The doctor gave me two weeks to repeat ultrasound. And, and if it was still there and growing, a surgery had to be scheduled same week. Now, the surgery had a risk of miscarriage. And this for me was heartbreaking as I had had other miscarriages, bef uh, had other miscarriage before. I came for prayer and healing meeting in June. And I responded to the altar for the sick. I was prayed for and I went back for scan and it was still there. I joined the ladies meeting, prayer and healing meeting the following month. Okay, this is our last prayer and healing meeting. I was kind of desperate because I only had one week to go, to go that time before the surgery could be done. I had, I had been declaring healing all along and rejecting anything to do with theater. I walked to the front the second time. When the sick were called and there, as, I, as Pastor Pauline laid hands on me, I'm saying that because what Pastor is talking about, laying on of hands, uh, uh, laid hands on me, I received healing. As I went home, I couldn't feel the swelling. And before I could touch, before I, she could touch and feel it. But now after this meeting, she could not feel anything. I went back for the ultrasound and there was no need for surgery. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord did it for her. And let me tell you, tomorrow. 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 Bring cancer. Hey. Bring diabetes. Yes. Bring whatever disease. Because the same God that did it for this lady. Oh, he's going to do it for more tomorrow. In the name of Hallelujah, come on, give Jesus praise. Give him praise. Hallelujah. One as if you will. That is what God can do. Praise the name of Jesus. When he does it, he leaves no scar. Praise God, he leaves no scar. Are you hearing me? Today I want to talk about prophetic intercession. Thank you so much, I'll call you later. Amen. Somebody say I'm imagining. Listen, there is a greater power than what has been hindering you. There is a greater power and that power is at work in you. It is that power that raised Jesus from the dead is greater than any opposition. Is greater than any hindrance. All right? At least I'm looking for an amen. You don't say an amen for the preacher. You say an amen to the Lord. Your amen ascends unto God. Praise the name of Jesus. Yeah. There is a power that is greater than what you've been dealing with. And that power worketh in you. You have that power. Say my amen. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. So today in the next few minutes if i don't finish I'll, I'll continue next time next friday i want to talk about prophetic intercession the bible says in isaiah 66 and verse 8 to 9 isaiah 66 8 to 9 the word of god says as you get it for us Who has heard such a thing? And who has seen such a thing? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Or 
or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion was in labor, she gave birth to her child. All right? Shall I bring to the time of birth and not cause delivery? Says the Lord. Shall I who causes delivery shut up the womb? Says the Lord. So the question God is asking here is he is that can he cause you to conceive and to carry what you have conceived but when it's time for you to deliver it you don't deliver it that's the question he's asking and of course the question the answer to that is no praise the name of jesus so he's saying that zion and when in the Old Testament he talks about the mountain of God, the city of God, and Zion is talking about prophetically, he's talking about the church. Hallelujah. He's talking about the church, he's talking about the people of God. He say that as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth what she has been carrying. She brought forth what she had conceived. She brought forth what was in her. Praise God. So he says that the moment of delivery is marked by a time of travail. The time of delivery is marked by a time of what? Of travail. I'll connect it to what I'm saying. Amen. So somebody can stay with a pregnancy or we have been conceived something and they continue like, you know, life is normal. But there is a place when the time has come for that which you have been incubating within you. That which that you've been carrying, that which you have conceived. When it starts to manifest or it wants to manifest, it starts to demand to manifest. There is accompanied by what is called travail. Praise God. Which the Bible also calls labor. And God is speaking and he's saying, he's asking a question to the prophet Isaiah through the mouth of prophet Isaiah. He said, is it possible that a nation can be born in a day? Can it happen that a nation can be born at once? Why? Because in normal circumstances, there's a process to the buffing of a nation. There's a process to the emergence of a nation. But God is saying, do you think that it is possible for a nation to emerge at once and to be born at once? And of course the question has an answer. All right? And the answer is yes. So God is saying that he has the ability to shrink the process, to accelerate a process. That which takes time can happen suddenly. That which takes time can happen quickly. That which takes time and has steps, many steps to its happening, can be shrunk into one step, which is called manifestation. Are you listening to me? And that is what we believe, and you have to come and believe, especially in this generation, and especially at this particular time. You read stories of what people have gone through. You read stories of how they have gone in circles and in circles. And then you have to believe that your case is going to be different. That God is able to straighten the crooked path for you. That you don't have to go to true trial and error. You don't have to go through ups and downs. You don't have to go through coils. You don't have to go through crooked paths that God can lead you straight into the place where he wants you to go. Hallelujah. So he's saying, is it possible? And when God is asking a question, he's not asking a question because he doesn't know. Because none of us can teach him. You can't sit God down and say, Lord, let me give you instruction into the emergence of a city and the growth and the birthing of a city or a nation. You cannot. He is asking you a question to bring you from your own purview, from your own objective, or from your own uh, perspective, or from your way of looking at things to, your, to, to looking at things the way he does. So he asks you a question so that you can consider what he's asking you as a possibility. 
so that you can start to think wait a minute when you put God here and a city here can that city come up in a day if he created the universe by a word can he bring forth a city in a day Praise God. Because sometimes the problem with the people is because they believe in a God that will do it one day. One day, one time, sometime, you know. They believe in a, in a God that is of gradual. You step here, you step here, and then, then there's process. I respect process. I've gone through process. But I also believe that when that time comes, God can pick you from where you are and give you a leap to the place where you need to be. That is what I'm talking about. That a nation should have been there. A nation should have been born. But something hindered that nation. So God sends a prophet to declare a word. And says, is it possible for a nation to emerge or to be born in a day? And my answer is yes. He has have, who has had such a thing? Who has had? God is asking, have you ever had a place where a nation comes up in a day? He says, I'm going to give you a, a testimony that is different from what you have had. Because people sometimes expect God to duplicate testimonies. To duplicate testimonies, you hear what others have heard, what others have gone through. Do you believe that God can give you a testimony that when people hear, they will shake their head? He said, they have never seen this. He is asking, have you ever had a nation coming up in a day? And I believe that God can give me a testimony. And God can give you a testimony. That people will say, I have had this and I have done that. But I have never had God walking the way he has walked in your life. Somebody shout and say, Amen. Amen. If you believe it, take it. Amen. If you believe it, take it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. May your testimony cause people to wonder. May your testimony cause people to be amazed. May your testimony cause people to be perplexed. Somebody shout and say yes. yes. Hallelujah. Somebody shout and say yes. yes. May it be so for you. It is possible. It is possible. It is possible for people to rise. And it seems as if they've been there all the time. But they have just come by favor. And come by grace. And come by the power of God. Somebody shout and say amen. amen. It is possible for God to shrink time for you. It is possible for God to shrink process for you. God is possible for God to tell you normally people go through this. But as for you, you're not gonna go through all that i'm gonna take you right ahead it's possible so he asks you a question so that you can see and consider possibility when you look at your god you start to ask yourself what can my god do what is impossible with god we have sung those songs but those songs need to be reality ninini asiloweza what is it that God cannot do? And then you answer and it becomes your prayer. It becomes your intercession. It becomes your travail. He said, Lord, I have borne it. You spoke it as a question. I have conceived it as a reality. Now it has become my travail. It has become my groan. It has become my intercession. It has become my prayer. And as soon as Zion picked it up and travail, she brought forth. She brought forth. Why? Because she was able to understand what God was communicating. Please sit down. <laughs> First Timothy chapter 1 verse 18. Somebody shout and say, I've conceived. Shout it out again and say, I've conceived. How many of you have a desire? 
You have a persuasion, a conviction within you. You have a vision that you've been holding in your heart and in prayer for some time. I, go, I tell you today that I feel there are people that dimensions are changing. The way you operate is changing. Your way of operation is being shifted. It's still turned around. Somebody shout and say, yeah, come here, Nancy. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout and say, amen. Amen. Let it be to you. In Jesus' name, somebody shout and say, Mimi. You know, you have to take ownership of the word. You have to take ownership of the word. Don't allow words to fly. Come here, my brother. Is this brother? Amen. Let me lay my hand on you. In Jesus' name, I know it's supposed to be a prayer and intercession meeting, but I'm feeling this thing. I'm feeling this thing. Somebody shout and say, Amen. You can feel it. Amen. You can feel it. Praise the name of Jesus. There are things we have conceived and we have carried it. Some of you have carried it past term. In Itangwaje in science, past the term, the baby was supposed to come a long time, but you're still carrying that baby. I come here as a midwife. Amen. I come to induce. Praise God. I come to induce. You know what induction is? I come to induce. I come to speak into your spirit and tell what you've been carrying. It's time for you to manifest. It's time for you to come forth. It's time for that nation to be born. Somebody shout and say amen. amen please sit down first timothy chapter 1 verse 18 he says this charge i commit to you son timothy now it's clear that paul is not talking to anybody he's talking to a person they have a particular relationship with and therefore when you talk in the bible about son is not just the fact that they've been serving together in the gospel but it means is one who has received a particular kind of a seed from the person speaking are you getting and you will see what i'm talking about that when he's talking about son it's not a congregational thing he's calling him son why does he identify him as his son is because there is something that left his life and entered the life of Timothy. He has recognized that there is something that is happening in the life of Timothy because of the seed that he has released into the life of Timothy. So he's saying, and I am charging you, Timothy. So after Timothy has received the word, he now gives him the charge. He gives him the charge. He said, there is something I did for you, but there is something you have to do for yourself. Ah, uh, dear, you don't clap there because you, you, you might not like that. Amen. There is something I did for you. Now it's time for you to do something for yourself. So it comes as a charge. According to the prophecies, previously made concerning you you receive prophecy you receive a word you receive revelation you received a vision the word of god came pointing towards you he said take those prophecies that were made concerning you then by those prophecies wage the good warfare go into war with what was spoken what was revealed what was declared what was said you go into war with words but the words did not come from you is somebody who talked about you who said something about you and told you it's your time to come out you take those words and you go into war and you say i'm coming my pastor my man of god said it's my time it's my time to emerge and you go into those war into the into into war with those words as if you're holding a javelin as if you're holding a spear as if you're holding a sword so this is a problem this is what happened timothy received the prophecy and he relaxed 
He said, ah, I was in this service and the preacher told me. And that was the end of it. But now Paul comes to him and tells him, my son, talk to you as a father. I'm giving you this charge. A charge is a command. It's not a request. He said, there are prophecies you received. You are wasting prophecy. You are wasting revelation. Get up and go into war with what you received. Praise God. Hallelujah. So when we are talking about my God, I don't know whether I'm going to preach everything. I'm just going to go to the end. Praise God. So when you're talking about pro prophetic intercession, is a kind of intercession that is based on the revealed, spoken will of God. That which he has showed you as his will. That which you have confirmed is in the mind and in the heart of God for you. That which is the purpose of God. That is which, that which is divine agenda. So God in prayer uses you as an instrument through which that which is in the spirit comes to pass here on the earth. What is the purpose of prophetic intercession? The purpose of prophetic intercession is bathing. Bathing that which has been carried, born, conceived in the spirit, has to be brought to a place where it is now experienced, to a place where it is manifested, to a place where it is enjoyed on the earth. And there a person has to take it and bring it to the place of intercession and intercede it until it happens here on the earth. So when Jesus was talking to his disciples and he said, when you pray, you pray, Father, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That there is something that has been done in heaven. And that thing that has been done in heaven has been revealed to you. You have possessed the knowledge of what has been done. You know what God has done and what has released for you in heaven. So when you go to prayer, you say, Lord, I have come to discover that this has already been established for me in heaven. This has already come to pass for me in heaven. This has already been released for me in heaven. And you bow your knee and you start to pray and you declare the thing you told me that day. The thing you showed me that day as your agenda for me. As my, your purpose for me. As your will for me. As my next level from you. Lord, I command it into manifestation until it happens. Are you hearing me? The purpose of bathing. I have pregnant people here. Men and women that are pregnant. They are pregnant. They are heavy. Some of you have called. You have carried it full term. You have carried it for a long time. But God has sent me here this evening. Not as your normal preacher. I've come here to tell you. God is looking forward to the day of delivery. And he has released the grace. He has released the strength. He has released the power for you to bring forth that which you have conceived. Somebody shout and say, I'm bringing forth. Intercession is for bringing forth. Yeah, prophetic intercession is not need based. It's purpose based. It's revelation based. Praise the name of Jesus. It is not needs based. Hallelujah. It's not about rent. It's about destiny. It's, a, it's not about food and, 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 what are, and, and school fees, my friend. It's about what you've been carrying. You say, God, I didn't come here empty. I came here loaded up. I want to empty myself in my generation. I want to bath into my generation what I've been carrying. That is what the purpose of prophetic intercession. Hallelujah. Can I go deeper into this? Will you give me a few minutes? Will you give me a few minutes? Our prophetic intercession is taking that which is in the realms of God. In the dimension. Do you know God has dimensions? 
Can you give me Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 17 in TPT? He says that God has dimension. They are called the deep and the high, the wide and the long. Those are the dimensions of God. But when you get into prophetic intercession, you are able to transport things from the spirit to, oh my God. You are able to bear things and transport things, convey things, transport things, transmit things from the dimensions of the spirit to the dimensions of the physical, where they are experienced by men, where there are miracles, where there are babies in barren wombs, where limbs are straightened, where tumors disappear. Oh my God, there is a possibility for you to carry that which is in heaven you bring it into the earth so that people can enjoy it people can partake of the blessings of God hallelujah, hallelujah. They remain given. Come here, Margaret. They remain given. What God has given remains given. Hallelujah. What God has given remains given. But it needs somebody who can transport it. Bring this. Assuming you give it to. Who do you want to give it to? Pastor Meshach, you give it to him. And you send a message. He said, I've given you a notebook. Loaded with mysteries. It remains given. But somebody has to carry it. Transport it to a place where he can enjoy it. So he says then, by constantly using your faith, the life of Christ will be released deep inside you. And the resting place of his love will become the very source and the root of your life. The next verse. He says, then you will be empowered to discover what every holy one experiences. Ah, oh my God. You know, there is, when he's talking about the holy ones, talking about saints, that there are things the saints of God are meant to be experiencing. We are not supposed to just be meeting for church. We are not just supposed to be meeting because it's a Friday. You are not just supposed to be worshipping God without a consequence. You are not supposed to be praying without a change in life, in circumstances and situations. There's got to be what is called the experiences of the Holy Ones. So Paul picks it. These are the prayers of the Holy Ghost. He picks it and he says, I constantly pray for you. I'm praying for you. I know you're born again. I know you have faith. And I know all that. But there is a place you have never touched. And that is where I keep on reminding God about. I keep on praying that you will be empowered to discover. Somebody shout, I receive it. Shout it out and say, I receive it. You will be empowered to discover, empowered to comprehend, empowered to understand. He said, this one you can't do with your mind. This one you can't do with your education. There is a revelation that requires empowerment. Hey, my God, I'm preaching better than you're clapping. There is a revelation that only comes by the Holy Ghost. It doesn't come by reading a book. It comes by the Holy Ghost and said, I am praying for you. He did not write a letter. He could have written a letter because he wrote many. But in this one, he is praying into them. He is praying. He's saying, I'm praying these experiences into you. I'm not just writing to you. I am praying these things, this dimension, these manifestations. I am pushing them into you through prayer, through intercession. So that you will be empowered to discover what every holy one experiences. The great magnitude of the astonishing love of Christ in all the next one it's what the love of God has dimensions even heaven there's what is called Maureen heavenly places meaning it's not one it's many places so Paul is praying 
And he said, there's something I've seen. We talk about the level of the love of God, but we have not seen the layers of it. The dimensions of it. He said, Ephesians have gotten a revelation. And I want you to experience that revelation. I want you to be a partaker of the reality of what I have seen. So he says, I never cease to pray for you. He said, Lord, I pray for the Ephesians that they may experience what you showed me. That they may be a partake of what you said. That they will be able to manifest these layers and dimensions of love that you showed me. And the Ephesian church becomes the largest church. Are you getting? How deeply intimate and far-reaching is his love? Somebody shout and say, I receive it. Yes. You carry Esther. See you, Esther. You carry things that you have seen in the spirit. You carry them to the place of enjoyment. Yes, giving you life that you might enjoy. So it's not just a decree you decree but it's an enjoyment you experience where you start to give testimony nafraya i am enjoying zoe <laughs> i am enjoying grace i am enjoying i'm not just talking about it i am enjoying it So this is what God does in Christ. Read this. All right. Christ goes with his blood, declares certain things legal. And he says, From today, these ones belong to these ones. Every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, it belongs to you. It's yours. So preachers come like Pastor Morris and they tell you lack nothing. You have every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You have all things that pertain to life and godliness. Somebody say I have it. But they are in the spirit. So we preach until somebody catches the revelation. Like this man here. He catches the revelation and say, Ile niangu. That is mine. That, that is mine. That is the one I was given by Sally. That is mine. And he doesn't just say it is mine. He goes for it. And he takes. Praise God. So all of you and those who are not here, there is something for you. Yeah. That they may know the things that you have kept ready and keeps ready for them. But there requires a certain aggression. So if I tell this lady, Go get that towel. And she's going to get it. She's not thinking within herself whether she will get or not. Now that's the problem with many people. The simplicity of Sally. Go get that towel. Are you getting? As simple as that. But you know many people are like I'm not worthy. Do I have enough favor? Do I have enough grace? Do I have... By the time the person gets here, the questions and arguments and theories and strongholds that have gone through their mind, yet it remains there and it is theirs. But by the time they get there, they have wrestled with grandfather, grandmother. When I told her, Go get that towel. I knew she has a grandmother. 
But getting doesn't have to do anything with the grandfather. It only has to do with what Christ has done. So if somebody tells you, I bless you with this, you don't bring stories about what you mean. You don't know the family I've come from. You don't know who my grandmother was. You don't know who my grandfather was. No, it's irrelevant. Because the person who is giving you that gift is not consulting your relationships. It's not consulting your background. But you want to bring your background, you want to bring your issues into the equation. Are you getting? When you pray and God tells you it's yours, take it as if you have no argument. Take it as if you have no opinion. Go for it like you have never failed before. Like you have never tried before. Go for it like somebody no one has ever spoken against you. Go for it like there has never been a rumor. Go for it as if your name is a perfect name. Because you're not going in your own name, but you're going in his name. And his name is a perfect So prophetic intercession reaches into what you have seen. And you say, that is mine. That belongs to me. That belongs to my family. That belongs to my children. That belongs to my nation. And you kneel down and you pray until it happens. Until it comes to pass. Until it manifests. And that is what Anna did. Anna lost the husband as a young lady. But she somehow in her Noah. She spent her time in the temple. People thought she was mourning her husband. The people thought it's trouble. But she had caught an understanding. She said, wait a minute. Why am I feeling like the time for the Messiah is now? Why am I feeling that prophecies, ancient prophecies are about to come? Why is it that I am, I'm keep on thinking about it? Why, why is it that I'm feeling like I'm about to rise? And she did not ignore what? Why? Because he will draw you through desire. He will draw you through feeling and urges and beckonings of the spirit. When she felt, she said, wait a minute. I know prophets prophesied. And I know there are priests who are supposed to know better than me. I know there are scribes. But if they don't get it, I'm still going to pray. And she took it to prayer. And prayed and prayed and prayed. Consistently praying. Until one day. One day, Anna and Simeon, who are waiting for the consolation of Israel, they had a cry, for the baby was being circumcised. The baby was being dedicated, and it was also circumcised. When the knife touched the baby, the baby cried. All those years, she had had many cries, but there was no cry like this cry. Hey, she turned and he said, who is that? Simeon, the old man, said, bring me that baby. Father, now your servant can depart in peace, for I have seen the consolation. Are you hearing me? There is something about prophetic intercession, George. It gives you sensitivity to certain things. You lose the network of certain things and you become sensitive about other things. And that's what's going to happen to some of you. Some of you, you'll find that there are feelings that will disappear. Attractions will disappear. Longings will disappear. Desires will be there. They will vanish and they will be replaced by other desires. You will only be looking for that which you have conceived. You see, you'll be saying, Lord, when shall I see it? When shall I hold it in my hands? When shall I enjoy? Praise the name of Jesus. Real desires are about to be replaced. Hallelujah. Listen. 
Pastor Martin, stand here. I'll take this, your brother. Stand here. No, 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 don't hug. Just stand, touch. Don't touch like that. Touch here. That's why I brought. No, no, no. Tumbo kwa tumbo. Listen, honey. When I said you go into the spirit world and bring that which is there, people thought of a journey that you have to go on a journey. When do Peter Mwezi? You went there until you get to that place that is called the spiritual realm or the spirit world. Praise God. But now where you are standing, Jacinta, the spirit world is where? Hey, right there. So all the time we are walking, we are walking in the physical and we are walking in the spirit. So this man, when he realizes this towel is his, he doesn't have to look for a rocket. Or he doesn't have to look for a way of covering the distance between the physical and the spiritual. No. All you have to do is snatch it. And that is how people get healed. Healing is there. Oh my God. The baptism of the Holy Ghost is there. Right now, the spiritual dimension is there. Right there. I won't even say next to you. I will say in you. But this mentality, lazima nikimbizane na mungu, mbaka nifikie. So it creates the notion of distance. But what God did, Jesus did when he died on the cross is that he brought the two worlds so that which was born was once born of flesh is also now born of the spirit. That which only lived in the flesh is now also living and walking and seeing and speaking and talking in the spirit. So when you tell people, I don't walk by sight, I walk by faith. Faith is not something you have to pick down and like reading glasses. You have them. You have faith. Because faith is not distant. The spirit world is not distant. We have become people of two worlds. So Jesus, Paul is telling them in Colossians, He's telling them, fix your eyes on the things that are above. That doesn't mean you remove your eyes from the road when you're driving. Most of you, many of you are driving. You can continue driving on the, on the highway and your eyes are on the things that are above. Because the things that are, that, are on the, on, uh, that are above are not there. That you have to no, the things that are above. Above you. Tell your neighbor, above is in me. Oh my God. I don't know whether you guys are getting this. Somebody say, above is in me. Because heaven, heaven is in you. So when I talk about heavenly places, when I'm talking about the depths of God, don't look for the day you'll go to Malindi to discover the depths of God. The depths of God are in you. Waiting discovery. So Paul was not praying for them for another experience that is different from getting born again. No, he wasn't praying for them to be filled again. He wasn't praying for them to be saved again. He was praying for them to discover that those dimensions of the love of God is not love that would again God has denied them so he has to bring it to them and give it to them. It's the love that they have already possessed. They have already tasted. 
but they have just tasted on the surface so paul is telling them the love you received the love of god you tasted you just tasted it but it has depths and it has heights and it has length and it has width praise god <laughs> Waendele wasiendele. Wakae hapo kwanza. Yeah, heaven and the spirit. The physical and the sp- Have you understood what I'm saying? Where is the spirit, Judy? Yeah. So you don't feel like you have to eh dafika dita we reach. No. Miracle is there. There. Is it where you're standing? The spirit is there. is there and you don't have to take a trip to discover the heavenly places <laughs> somebody is a prophetic intercession so right now where you are you can as simple as that charity because he's there So people are like squeal and tafika huko squeal and itaenda huko it's because in their mind is distance but it's just and when that loads and and becomes a reality in you miracles happen like this miracles happen and that how come people see heaven they see Christ they see angels because angels are there Vini you have angels there The spirit world is present with us So when the holy ghost was poured he was poured with everything the gifts the fruit the what is there in the spirit in the holy spirit Are you getting? So when I pour him some water, I pour him that water with everything that is in the water. So is us who think we have to leave the Holy Ghost here and go into heaven and get something that is in heaven but is not in the Holy Ghost that was poured. I don't know whether you people are understanding this. Are you getting? So he poured. So when he's saying in the spiritual places or in the heavenly places, don't start to think far. Because heaven is just Thank you. I appreciate this brothers. Kore bagada bagade bege dibe gara bagodo bagada bagade bege die. Gode gara bagada bege de bogodo bogodo bagada bege de bige de bege daba. Mandele bakata la bazo bakata la bige da bogo dobe harika patala bazo bakatala biya ketalabo haye ketalama zuba katala behe haria katala moze keteri ba haria kanta zo katara ba haria katala mazole bakata haria katala come on lift up your hands if you can come here let's come and let's push together Aye ketana mazoka tala baba haria katana mazoka tara bagana hayele makatana na mami mama na magada bagada de haria katana mazoba katara bagadia now as you're praying you're praying in the spirit you're praying in the spiko taya na mazuba kai haria katana mazoka tala mai haria kataya na mazoka taya laba Yes, Zakata Rababu. Asha help me. Yes, thank you Jacinta. Haria katana mazoka tarabagadabi. Hayele makatania. What have you seen? What have you come to know that is yours? In Jesus name, ikita rabagadabi. You can transport it into your business. You can transport it into your family. You can transport it in the spirit you have it. It's already yours in the spirit. You can bring it to a place of experience. and manifestation come on pray we just need a few minutes pray kitari abazi haria kantani nasdai lokabe 
hayele makata na nia zoba haria katana mazo kataraba he zakata ndala malia haria kataraba zo katala mama haria ketana na mazo katala male hayele makata na nami mama katala baba bae haria katana maziba katala maziboka haria katana maziba katara baba haria katana na ninani na mahai haria katana na mazo katara bae as soon as zion travel she brought forth in jesus name you bring bring forth what you've been carrying up you bring forth what you have conceived up what god has put in you i call it into manifestation i call it forth they say they it's time to bring forth it's time to bring forth it's time to bring forth it's time to emerge it's time to go to the next dimension it's time to overcome everything that has been pulling you up by every weight that has been slowing you down we disconnected from you in Jesus name it's time to advance it's time to move forward it's time to do it in Jesus name you arise now you emerge now in the name of Jesus harakata rabasata favor is yours prosperity is yours supernatural health is yours fruitfulness is yours productivity is yours in Jesus name it manifests now we reach into the spirit and we bring them into your life we bring them into manifestation we bring them into experience we bring them into enjoyment take it I wish above all things that you may be in health and that you may prosper in Jesus name I wish you to prosper it's the will of God to prosper you it's the will of God for you to be in health in Jesus name and that will becomes your reality that prosperity becomes your experience it becomes your experience it becomes your enjoyment it becomes your manifestation in the name of Jesus stand up stand up those who are kneeling i want you to stand up rise up on your feet uh, and i want you to join your hands together and i want you to speak in tongues like you're losing your head speak in tongues mysteries are coming into the earth Minister, mysteries are becoming physical Tariabe, Haria Kantai Nai Zoi, Haria Kantai Speaker, even those who are behind Speaker, Speaker. Haye ketaya namalo haria katande rebaso haria katande rebasala haye ne makanda namazala haye ne makanta ya raba haria kataya rabasa haye le makata rabasa is coming out of you is coming out of you into manifestation is coming out of you the dreams you've been seeing the visions that are locked up they are coming into manifestation they are coming it is uh, that which you have conceived uh, in the spirit uh, that which you've been carrying up uh, in your spirit uh, is coming out uh, into manifestation it coming into experience uh, what have you been seeing uh, what have you been thinking about uh, what have you been dreaming of uh, what have you been seeing in the visions uh, of the night they are coming to manifest they are coming to be your experience everything around your life is shifting it is changing it is shifting it is changing into manifestation doors are opening up situations are yielding circumstances are shifting 
prosperity is our reality prosperity is our manifestation prosperity is our experience we succeed we succeed supernatural health favor is our spiritual reality and it's our physical reality favor is our spiritual reality and our physical reality in jesus name fruitfulness is our spiritual reality and our physical experience Yes, in the name of Jesus. Katande rebasa harakata yala masolo ayele makantare haria katarima ayele masata intercede what you see intercede what you heard intercede the word that was spoken concerning you haria katande la ayene makanta yana maso haria katara baso uliambiwa nini Mungu alikuambia nini Hayele mazo kataya alikuambia amekupatia nini Hayele mazo kataraba it becomes your experience it becomes your experience it becomes your manifestation it becomes your appearance yes sakata hayele mazoka tarima hayele makanda ramani hayele manameni mini meneme haria kataraba hayele mazoka taina haria katandereba yes Yes. Yes, a nation can be born in a day. A millionaire can rise in a day. A businessman can rise in a day. A church can buy land in a day. A church can buy land in a day. Yes. A jobless man can get a job in a day. A single lady can be engaged in a day. Yes. 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 Hi, Sane. A woman that has been praying for a child can conceive in a day. Yes, it can happen in a day. It can happen in a day. It can happen in a day. We can rise in a day. We can grow in a day. We can emerge in a day. We can increase in a day. Hey, we can rise in a day. Hey, ketanda ramaso. Yes, katarama. Harakatarabasa. Haria kantaria best. Haria kantaya nenis. Haria kan si robekans. Haria kan stuberi ezai. Haria kan stari bas. Haria kan stubesin. Haria kan tino nizo. Haria kan tani nanzole. Haria kan si basiri. Haria kan tani name. Haria kan tani esosi. Haria kan taina ido. Haiene kan tani. Haria be, hey, ye can tari ambis. Haria can tari abeso. Haria can tari basole. Hey, ye ketanda ramazala. Hey, hey, ye kesina. Haria can sira. Haria can poste zini. Haria can tani andelia. Haria zan zon zemi. Haria zan tari azenia. Haria can tari azino. Haya can tai an amazune. Haya ne can tari basune. Haya ne ketere baso. Haria can tari basina. Haria can taraba. That which you have been seeing. That which you have had in your spirit. Haya de sere. Haria can saribo. Haya teriba. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey! Hai zai 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 na Hari ya zai 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 na Come forth! Come forth! Come forth! Come forth! Come forth! Come forth! Come forth healing! Come forth favor! Come forth grace! Come forth that we may experience you! Come forth! Come forth! Come forth! Come forth! Come forth! 
Hey, Sanda, Haratka Taramazo. In Jesus' name, drop those hands, lift them up, and tell him, Lord, I thank you. Hai, 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 zengi. Haria kampata la mazo. Haria kansale. Haria kampaya. Haya kantarama. Haya kantarama zo. Haya le ma kantarama zala. Haria kantarima sila. Haya le ma kantarama za. Haria put your hand. Haya ya kantai. Haria kataya bai. I call it out. Haya le ma zonde. Haria peka sanina. Hayele mazakatai. Mary flow with me, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Hayamba yamba ya he. Haria kataya namaso. Haria katandelema. Haya kataya mama. Hayele mazokataya. Hayana maya promotion. 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 Promoshikaba. Hayene makande, haria katai, hayene mazokatai, haria mpeketai, hayene mazoya. Hai, 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 where's Mary? Hai, can I need get another Asha here? Flow with me, sorry. What you have carried, I call it out. Gifts of healing, I call it out. Manifestation of the power of God, I call it out. Hey, 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 hey. Haye ketanda rama, hariamba rama zi, hayono masoro, hayana masanta, hayele makaya. I'm stirring up every vision. I'm stirring it up by the Spirit of God. I see konteria bay, hayantai, 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 hariakaya. I call you for, I call you for visions of God that have been in you. I call you for. Yes, Samba. Haria kanta yena masi. Haya ne makai na nina. Haria kanta ramai. Haria pero. Oh God, oh God, oh God, fire, fire, fire. Lord, I impart fire. I impart that which I carry. I release it on him. I release it on him. Fire, you will preach. You will preach. You will preach. You will preach. I speak revelation. I speak insight. I speak light. I speak grace. You will preach. I speak grace. Fire, 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 fire. Help me, put your hand. Fire, 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 hey. Haria kanta inama. Haya ne mazekota. Hey, 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 hey. Sanda, yeke. Hayeke kenta raba. Fire keta yama. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, say go, 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 ma. Hayele makanta raba. Haria fire, fire, fire. From the crown of your fire. Fire, ne, 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 ze, ne, ne, ne. He, ne, 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 ze, ma. Hayele, ne, 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 ze, ne, ne, ne. Hayele masola. Hayele masololo. Hayele makanta. Hayele makaya, babo. Hayele masa, ne, ne, ne. Ye, 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 impartis. Growth increase. I release increase. I release increase. I break boundaries. I break resistance. I am in the spirit. I remove every year, year. I remove every resistance. That which has resisted you exists no more. Move in Jesus' name. I release you. I release you. I release speed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hurry up, Akaza. Paka zande, haria kansalala, haria pakansa, kampaya sanda. Zonken tai, haria nstan zama. Haya, what you've been seeing is of God. Is of God, is of God, is of God. Is of God, is of God. Is not aye bai. Is not in vain that you've been seeing it. Is of God, is of God. Haya mo zaya. Haria kantami, kantami mai. Haria kantariro, haria we.
Sonterima Hariakata Fire Lift up those hands Boldness Oh boldness The righteous eyes boldness are ye Hai 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 sonenema rakata rabasara hai kata nama folo santa karama ha zakanta rabasa yekenta ya mosta yeni o zekatara hai yeketa ya bihio omo hedix no more stress. No more anxiety. No more fear. Hey, free from fear. Anxiety and stress. That mountain disappears. Shikoma. Ayeketana maso. Aya mama. It's your time to bath. It's your time to bath. Oh, zakantama. Rakantama masola. Hazakataraba, wekaya nami makatala ma, hayekaya kolora, mansani nama solo, aria kantama mama, hayayaya fire, fire, Santa Papa, ayala mazaka pakata, mantala mazaka taraba, rakata la mazala, mayakaya, belly, fire in your belly. Fire in Jesus' name. Fire, 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 fire. Fire! So, my mama. Za, 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 za. Manta, ya, 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 ya. Om, jazem, jazem, jazem. Nasiyo na roho wako Lakini mjaze na maufunuo Mjaze na mahe Santa kaba Rakanta reba Manta ya babusa Haraka nsobeba Ayeke tana masa Asalaba zakata Your hand on her tummy please God is changing your cry into laughter you shall laugh. He fills you with joy. Furaha, furaha, furaha. Joy! Like a fountain. Joy like a fountain. Hayakampaka. Allow me, allow me. Remove this. Shekoma. Mantaraba salaba. Hayeketaraba saka. I speak growth. I see multiple doors opening for you. They are opening for you. Even now they are opening for you. Multiple, multiple, multiple. Multiple from this side and from that side. <laughs> multiple. I cancel delay. I cancel delay. He shrinks time for you. He shrinks time for you. I can't so delay. I can't so delay. Oh, in Jesus' name. In a day, in a day, she will arise. In a day, she will arise and go forth. In Jesus' name. Hai posakata. Harakatai. Mantalabo zekete reba. Harakantai. Babo. Hayeke zankantai. Mantarebos. Haria cantarebo silo. Ia cantarebo sa. Haria cantala mamosa. He que te reba solo. Aya cantareba zo. Ay catala masolo. He sees the secret longings. Secret longings. The cry of your heart is able to interpret it. And today, 
I call it done. I call it done. Rebuke every frustration. And I call it done. Jesus. Oh. Oh, this is my son. This is my son. This is my son. And I release into his life that which is requisite for him to move forward. For him to manifest the dreams and visions that you've given him. I bless him. That which he has never heard from my father. I release into him now. I call you blessed. I call you favored. I call you blessed. And I call you favored. You arise as a mighty man. In Jesus name. Solebaka Solelelemba in the name of Jesus Salabosa Increase 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 You rise I speak promotion You rise You rise You rise you rise, you rise, you rise in Jesus' name. Oh God, I break this cycle up and down, up and down, up and down. You remain up and you keep soaring. Receive strength as, with a, as an eagle, strength to soar as an eagle. You're not going down anymore. Shaka. I impart into you abundance and increase. And the anointing you have honored and served. It now changes your life. It now changes your life. Shokaba. Yakaba. That which you cannot afford, he will cause men to bring to your bosom. He will cause men to bring to your bosom. He will cause men to bring to your bosom. In Jesus' name. Peace, Sola. You fly. I see you fly. I see you spread your wings. Because this is not the limit. God is taking you higher. Higher, your name will be mentioned in high places. I see high doors opening to you. They will ask who is faith. They will ask who is faith. You're soaring higher where you are. You're going even higher. You're going even higher. You're going even higher. I pull you higher. Oh, I pull you higher. I pull you. I pull you. I pull you. I pull you even higher. Spread your wings. For it's time to fly. It's time to soar. So, beba. Karika beto. Saria kansolo. I impart into you revelations, mysteries. You will know, you will know, you will know, you will know, you will discern what is in the hearts of men. You will know hearts, you will know, you will know gifts of the Spirit. I release in Jesus' name. You're a woman of prayer. Get into prayer. Get into your prayer. Get into prayer. Get into prayer. Oh, hey. For that which you carry will be part through prayer. It will happen through prayer. 
Yoi sokotana masila. You will speak and it shall open. You will declare and it shall come to pass. Get into prayer. Get into prayer. Inuwe yo mikono. Come on, lift up those hands. Rokosa. Salilasa. Salireboko. Salirele kampe. Raka patula basala. Ninatoa yo mzigo. Ninaitoa, 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 ninaitoa. Hey, sakata. And you will run. You will run. Naona mbio, umetoka mbio. You will run. I see you running. The weight is lifted. The weight leaves you. Soba kamba. Soka tele masoko. Receive speed. I cancel every contradicting word or voice. Is what God says in your life that shall stand. In the name of Jesus. Come on, rise up if you're seated. Put your hands together. Give him praise. Yes, Come on, give him praise. Give him praise. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. With the blessing of a man of God, I bless you. In Jesus' name. Come on, put your hands together. Give him praise. I bless you. You're spreading forth. You're spreading forth. Stretch the place of your tent. In your business, you are stretching. You are stretching. I see you expanding. I see you constructing. I see you building. It is supernatural. It is by favor. Is by grace. So ketere masakata. You're growing. You'll need room. No, that business needs room. I speak room. Room, room, room. Jesus. Sit. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you in Jesus' name. I bless you. Minds, I bless you. I bless you. I speak the gift of wisdom. Wisdom. Keen understanding. Wisdom. 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 To decipher. To break open enigmas. Understanding. In Jesus' name. Ah. So Baba. Father, that which I have for Brian, I release it into his life. The grace that is able to change, transform, raise up, I release into his life. In Jesus' name. That grace that makes what you have separated from the womb. I release in Jesus' name. Ah. I've sensed virtue. 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 I bless you. The blessing of a man of God. I bless you. Command doors to open. I bless you. Nations will receive you. You are not transacting now here. 
but you will transact with nations. You will move from one nation to another. For that is what I see in you. Feathers that have never been stretched. Feathers and wings that have been tucked in. But they begin to stretch. It's time to fly and soar in Jesus' name. Son pequeña, raquistole basoku, rekintole basaya, salibokose. I bless you. I bless you. That you may arise and become mighty. The Bible says, and the least of you shall become a mighty man. Arise. May your name be spoken favorably. May it be mentioned in high places favorably. I command channels to open for you and to cause you to increase i speak wealth that spirit that the bible says he gave it the power to make wealth i speak wealth into you i speak wealth into you i speak wealth i speak wealth into you in jesus name Come, yes, come, come, yes, come. You, not the one behind. <clears throat> not Irene. Irene, I prayed for you. Come. <clears throat> He's saying, don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. There are things that you've been feeling and sensing. And you know it's God. But you're wondering, how will it happen? How will it come to pass? For the vision that is within you, the desire that is within you, you cannot do by yourself. I know the resources are not there. And within your circle right now, you don't see anyone that you can call and ask for help. But God is saying you don't need anybody. He's saying I am here. And I'm seeing you walking. You know me, I see in images. And as you are walking, I'm seeing a hand holding you, but I can't see the body. Just seeing a hand. But God is saying, you're not alone. He's walking with you. Maswali ni mengi, lakini yeye ndiyo jibulako. In Jesus' name. And you shall know it, because one of the things that will happen is restoration. Some of the things you lost. God is saying you will not only recover things, but you will recover time. It will be speedy and it will be quick. It will be quick. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Put your hands together, give him praise. I'm feeling like I've been carrying people on my shoulders. I feel like I've been carrying. You know, that's how you know virtue has left. You can tell there's something that has entered. You can tell. It's because I'm feeling like I was carrying a burden, a weight, and those were people that were struggling and fighting, and but now the burden is gone. It's gone. It's gone. 
Praise God. It's time to bath. It's time to come into experience. Let me read this scripture, then I release you. It's time to come into experience. You know those things that you've been seeing, thinking, come here, Ben. Ben, Ben, you're gonna let me bless you. I want to speak enlargement. I speak enlargement. Boundaries are moving. Beacons are being plucked up. And the place of your feet is widening. It's not by strength, it's by grace. You move around and you desire. You look at other people in the same industry. And you say, Lord, Lord, I would love to do this. But hear the word of God, you will do more. Those who you have envied will envy you. Because grace for increase and speed is released now. In Jesus' name. Your dream will become bigger. You're saying you have a big dream. But I warn you, it's going to get bigger. That which you are dreaming is not big enough. God will make it bigger. And then God will help you fulfill it. In Jesus name. Amen. Put your hands together. Give him praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. I will continue. I didn't preach everything I wanted to. I'll continue Friday. And Friday we will do exactly the same thing. Consistency. I will lay hands on you. Until one day you come here with a testimony. Sita Choka, we are not going to get tired. So, <clears throat> Friday you come, we pray, we lay hands, we declare, and then the other Friday I preach, I declare, I lay hands on whoever I need to lay hands. Because I know in my Noah. So you know where you know. It's not here. It's in the spirit. But there are people imagine. After 430 years, a multitude crossed the Red Sea. And they crossed the Red Sea with the entire treasure of Egypt. In one day, in one day, in one day, they emerged. That which they used to look at their master's houses and envy and admire and desire was now in their possession. Are you getting? Those desires you have are not your own. They are not your own. Are they evil desires? Oh, please talk to me. Are they evil? They are of God. One day. One day. And this is the time. You will, you will wake up one day and say, wait a minute. I used to desire this. Now is what I'm experiencing. I used to admire and now I am above those I used to admire. That is my assignment today. To pull you. And I think I've done it. Praise God. It's time to give. I'm going to ask Pastor Mesha to come close the meeting. Get a good offering. Bring it on this platform. Praise God. Hallelujah. Pastor Mesha, please.